So now in this video, we're going to look at this voltage controlled oscillator. So we're using the 4046 integrated circuit. So it's part of the 4000 series CMOS logic integrated circuits. I have uh, an assorted kit here that I got yesterday. And uh, the way that this works, it's actually a lot more simpler than it looks. So with the trim pot here, we can change a voltage going to pin number nine right there. We will turn it down just slightly. You can see the waveforms get longer and that LED take longer to blink right there. So that was setting it more negative. We don't have to turn it very far. So going more positive, you can see I just turned a little bit. Now it's going a whole lot faster and we can really make it go fast can't even see the LED blinking and we can go uh, really slow so the LED is there you go I don't know why it's continuously on when it was down there Pro oh, probably because it was high it didn't drop low yet but uh, in any case we have the trim pod there to set the voltage to pin number nine pretty straightforward it's a resistive element there and there's a wiper that slides along it so unless you're all the way to one side or the other there's some resistance to positive some resistance to negative and based on the resistance the closer it is to each rail you'll get a different voltage and so the closer you get to the negative rail the closer to zero volts let's slow this down a little bit right there much better so that's a way to get a variable voltage we have nine volts at the rail and at the output, let's go uh, to the rail. So we have two volts per square. And once we get over here, you'll see two, four, six, eight, and then nine. One more up. At the output, we are getting, looks like about a volt and a half less. But if we remove the LED, then you'll see that it, it gets up to a nine. So. That was about seven there, a little more than seven, and uh, and then when we moved the LED, it went to nine. So it doesn't look like it holds the voltage with the load uh, terribly well, but uh, but it was up there. So we can remove the resistor there and remove the oscilloscope probe there. Here is the other one, and let's uh, zoom in, and so you can see the voltage divider there. We already covered that. There is, we have to power this. So pin number 16 up there goes to the positive rail. Pin number 8 to the negative rail. We are holding down pin number 5 to the negative rail. We have a capacitor here. So this is a 1 nanofarad capacitor right there. And we have a 100,000 ohm resistor right there. And the exact value of these components don't seem to terribly matter too much from what I've noticed so far. So let's zoom back. And I think it's mostly the capacitor, but even then, I don't I don't think it makes a huge difference. We will put that back there to look at the waveform and reattach the LED. So yeah, it's just the resistor and the capacitor. So you see it flashing there. Let's take out the uh, one nanofarad capacitor and replace it with a uh, 0.1 microfarad capacitor. So this is a hundred times larger. This is the same as a 100 nanofarad capacitor. So we can just pluck it out. It's going to go erratic while we do that. And uh, replace it with the 100 nanofarad capacitor. So the setting's not the same. I gotta turn it up a little bit. But there you can see. I didn't have to go very far. And now we have that same waveform again. And we can slow it down by tilting it just about the same. So now, this is a 100,000 ohm resistor. I don't think the value of the resistor matters. Let's uh, pluck that out and replace it with a 10 kilo ohm resistor. So that goes to pin 11. and then the negative rail right there so I think that's about how fast it was flashing before could be wrong 
wasn't paying that close of attention to it. But yeah, you could see it didn't make like a vast difference. Yeah, it's about the same. Now it's going a little bit longer with the higher value resistor. So it makes a little bit of a difference. But it's not the 10 times difference you may think between 100,000 and 10,000. So I'm not sure exactly how the math goes for the uh, resistor and the uh, capacitor. But in any case, you adjust it with voltage anyways. And so that's the main thing right there so pretty simple and a pretty interesting circuit so so I'm just learning uh, these components and uh, hopefully I can make better videos in the future but still these are really interesting circuits and not that hard to uh, use as I said I just got these I just learned about this component yesterday and I only spent about like 20 minutes like researching it not a whole bunch of time so it's not that hard to use really so any case, hopefully you still enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.